Hey, Dee. Welcome to the house. It's so cold. Come here. <laughs> Come on into the parlor where the fire is on. This used to actually have a classic regular fireplace mantle. Of which this is left over. And we put our own bespoke fireplace up. We actually Bes heat the house just with those a lot of the time because we have four of them. And come on in here. We also built this. What's cool about this is this is actually the width of a full-size bed. Full-size. A lot of people sleep here. A lot of people here. have slept there. Sometimes I like to think about, like, in an emergency, how many people could sleep in our house. Yeah, well, one, two, three right here. Yeah. And so we both obviously like movies a lot. We make movies. One thing we decided to do is underneath the ceiling, put in this screen. Even during the daytime, it kind of blocks out the lights. It projects from this other side over here. So you can see what we've been watching. Breaking Away. Come on. Who remembers Breaking Away? When we bought the house, we had just seen that movie. The uh, Lives of Others. The Lives of Others. We had just seen the, ha the movie The Lives of Others with these like East German artists Seriously. and we kind of got inspired by them so we craft papered the walls. At one point the right. idea I think was that people would draw all over it. And then you just re And then you could re craft paper. We actually have reams of craft paper in the basement. But Which we just end up wrapping Christmas presents with. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't say this, but this is unfinished. <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had a fantasy of like making some amazing... Well we never found it. I mean I think that's the way with a lot of this house is that we kind of did it as we went. We didn't do it in one fell swoop. We've sort of enjoyed doing it piecemeal. This room is the music room. So you can see this guitar, there's an amp over there, this piano behind you. And there's a theremin, which I played the theremin in a movie. The idea in this room is to take inspiration from other artists as you make art. And this is a Matthew Barney piece that he traded me for some work I did on a film of his. My good friend, Jordan, uh, played with Ornette Coleman. And this is from a score he did called A Girl Named Rainbow. And you can see he wrote, Ornette, the knowledge of goodness, question mark, Peter. I don't really know what that means, but um, it's something to think about as you sit here plucking away at the piano. We created this hearth piece. We yes. had it as a coffee table for a number of years. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And then we turned it into this yeah. hearth. We sort of like mixing things like that, you know? Yeah. This has a little bit of history for us. Like a lot else in this house, several things in this room were repurposed. This sink was actually here, but we put new legs on it. And, and we, we found this tile and we retiled it, and this is our amazing bathtub. This is a teak bathtub. It's amazing. It's made by Scottish barrel makers, and we've had it for 10, 12 years, right? This yeah. is a favorite room. We like this room, yeah. This is our office. I've really enjoyed sharing the space and like working at the same time. We used to have separate desks and then we sort of landed on sharing a desk. We do have our own separate sections, like that's your section and this is my section. These are all magnetic and I just hang up pictures and yeah. ideas and things that are inspiring me. And then that was a gift I gave you. Peter's really into soccer. <laughs> this is like the two greatest sportsmen of all time. Yeah, this is our bedroom. This is another working fireplace. It's really nice to have a fireplace in, in your bedroom. We do also have like a lot of teak throughout the house. So there's a built-in teak unit. Yeah. I like the idea of being on a boat and having to have everything have its own little spot, you know, the way you have to be organized. So this is Dinah. Dinah, believe it or not, is only two years old and already quite massive. But Dinah is a rescue. I think it's really the only way to get a pet. There's so many pets out there waiting to be adopted and why do it any other way? Another bathroom, this is our steam shower. It has Heath tiles. They're from California, which is where I'm from. It's, California. it's also nice to have a big window. And also so to be able to shower and be up so high, like you're kind of in the trees. Yeah. So we always feel like this room is a tough one in a brownstone. Yeah, like, this particular it's, area. It's the garden level. It doesn't get a lot of light. This is the north side. So we sort of felt like just go with the den vibe. You know, just to like not try to pretend that it's something that it isn't. This is a dark, denny section. Yeah, this becomes like an area to read a book. 
a place yeah. to do your homework while people are making yeah. dinner. We have two little kids, you know, so it's like a great place for kids to play. Yeah, and you can stash stuff under there. We have a lot of places to put kind stuff, of hidden to put, to put stuff, stuff away. away. These floors are actually another thing that was uh, reclaimed and put in. This is uh, worm chestnut. We yeah. built all this kitchen and we, we cook a lot and we're often in here and so. This is also all teak. This is another wood fireplace insert. And um, one thing that's so nice about this, we often heat this floor just with this fireplace. Because a lot of this heats up yeah, around it. Yeah, this is also Heath Tiles, also from California. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it radiates heat. I love this. And the other thing is, you know, in a brownstone, we're going up and down all the time to be able to close the door to a fireplace and still see a beautiful fire, but it's safe, you know, it's like, yeah. you can leave it here. Okay, thanks for thanks coming. Thanks for coming by. See ya.